I'm Chris Whiters, and this is the Terms, Tips, and Tricks for Real Estate, and this is episode 108. Today, we're going to be talking about inspections. Be sure to like and subscribe and ring that notifications bell so you never miss an episode. It's rare for a home to make it from the initial listing stage through to the closing table without some type of an inspection taking place. A home is a large investment, and a savvy buyer and their agent are going to look deeply at the home before finalizing the deal. Not all homes are created equal, and what's hiding in the walls, attic, and crawl space could be deal breakers. Today, we'll talk specifically about how inspections are going to impact your home. I firmly believe that a real estate transaction is 100% a team effort. It takes many professionals to keep a deal moving forward for the buyers and the sellers. The inspectors are a huge part of the team, and part of my job as your agent is to help you assemble, hire, and coordinate the efforts of your team. Inspections may, and should minimally, include a home, septic, and pest inspection. Every home is different and there are other items of concern like a pool or a pool or dated shady looking HVAC system. You need to consider those items in the inspections too. It can be costly to have them done, but the insurance policy of intimately knowing the home well is well worth the investment. If you have followed my business for any length of time, you know I'm a huge proponent of sellers doing inspections before the home goes on the market. If you're a seller, there, there are things you want to know and to have done prior to listing a home so you know exactly what issues are waiting for any potential buyers. This gives sellers the opportunity to fix major issues before a buyer can discover them. I think it's a huge way to make both parties feel comfortable before proceeding forward. Other items that may pop up during the inspection process is the need for a title search. A bank loan is going to require one, but if you are a cash buyer, I think this is often overlooked and can ease some pain should issues arise later. Appraisals, surveys, perk tests for vacant land, well water inspections, the list is quite extensive of possible inspections you could utilize and each deal is different. Be sure to ask your agent for advice and if you don't have an agent, I'd be, sit down, I'd be happy to sit down and interview for the job of representing you. There's more great content coming soon. Until next time, I'm Chris Whitehurst. Welcome home.